Hey friends, Tux here. You know, there's been a lot of talk lately about the new Xperia 1 Mark 6, okay? And so I want to talk a little bit about my Xperia 1 Mark 5 and kind of a year wrap up. I've had it for not quite a year now, but it, since it was launched, you know, which is, I want to say about, what, nine months, 10 months, something like that. And at first, you know, it's like, okay, so this could be a replacement for DAPs like the NWA 306 from Sony and the answer is yes and no okay this is probably the single best audiophile phone there is okay this has almost every bell and whistle of the Sony NWA 306 but not quite all of them it doesn't have this cassette screensaver and a few of the music touches like uh, the vinyl filter and things like that does not have on here but you know what this sounds amazing okay and for being a day-to-day -day phone this is something which I use uh, over like my Samsung phone and over other phones, Apple phones, that kind of thing. Um, this is my go-to phone. If you see me in real life walking around, unless I'm multi-climbing, playing like two Pokemon games at once or something, I'm probably carrying this phone, okay? In fact, I would bet money that this phone is in my pocket. Um, love this phone. You know, at first I wasn't sure about the form factor because it is kind of, it's a little bit more like narrow. You can see it's actually a little bit more narrow than the Samsung phones, you know, by about, you know, a fourth of an inch or so, you know, but I'll tell you that that fourth of an inch really makes it feel good in your hand, okay? I love, especially if I'm like, you know, walking or on a scooter or something and just want to pull it out and one hand it, I can easily type with one hand and it's just more convenient for me, you know, and I like the way it looks too. Um, I think what really draws me to this is the sound and of course the camera functions. Um, this takes amazing photos. It, there's a million videos on YouTube about the photos I'm not gonna go through everything part of it, but it basically has you know alpha series like things you can go basic and other phones do not have you know things like this and I'm again I'm not gonna go through everything but just amazing ways you can customize your photos now I will say this phone is not quite as user-friendly if it comes to like if you just snap and shoot and you don't want to like be you know mr. photographer and be creative changing exposure times and changing that kind of thing um, it is not the simplest camera phone but after using this for a little while I've really grown to love this camera phone and it's the type of thing where I think I would miss it like I was in New York last year in just after I got this phone and at first I was like taking photos and it was like just on basic mode the Samsung does a little bit better okay this is the um, S22 Ultra and I was like oh damn like the ones on the S22 are better than this but then after just learning this phone a little bit more like at BlizzCon last year in California, it was like, whoa, this takes amazing photos. And if you go on my Instagram, every now and then I'll post some just really cool, creative, fun photos, you know, um, just me driving around the Corvette or things like that, blue skies, palm trees, moon, uh, glimmering on water, different things like that. It's just, it's really nice looking. So I, I'm really blown away with the phone camera function of this as well. Um, but music, I think, is a big one. I listen to music on this uh, phone every single day, you know, and to be honest with you, I really don't like phone calls like uh, Unless I'm getting one from you know someone in my household um, I don't like being interrupted by people So usually I text more than anything else and I do have work texts and work calls that kind of thing but um, in general, my friends all text. Like, we don't call each other on the phone. Usually, it's more of a text situation, you know? Um, so, like, it's perfect for that. Um, the phone functions do work. But I just, to be honest with you, I haven't used them all that much, you know? I live in Key West, and the T-Mobile, my carrier, on the island is not the best. So, I don't even know if I could fairly judge the phone service. But when I do use it, it's clear and good. And, you know, it, I use it for, like, um, team speak calls and uh, things like that, you know, invent and whatnot discord sometimes for voice chat but um you know it's it's pretty good um i have no problems with it but where it really shines honestly is the music and the photography okay and again if you pair it with like a pair of sony's flagship noise canceling earbuds it is downright magical i kid you not guys if you pair this you know at the time of purchase i think it was like $1,400, a $1,400 phone with this $300 pair of headphones, you are in for a magical experience. It's really that good, honestly. So I'm excited about reeling this forward to the 6, to the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 6. I'm excited about it. Um, it is keeping, you know, the headphone jack, which I do like. Um, and I'll admit, as an audiophile, like, I really prefer wired headphones. But there is a time and place for everything. And sometimes for daily convenience factors, I will use, you know, Bluetooth headphones. But I make sure they're quality Bluetooth headphones, you know. And, like, flagship level, top tier Sony 
Bluetooth headphones. And I'm sure the top tier Bose headphones would sound great too. I've heard a lot of people talk about those and different ones. I'm sure there's, you know, Apple ones, I, I guess, sound okay. Um, but for my purposes, I love to match the Sony with the Sony, you know, it's just a match made in heaven. I'd recommend it, you know, but the new, the new Xperia 6, it looks great. Um, the form factor, I'm still trying to figure out, is it bigger? Some people are saying it's more like this, you know, and I think I would miss a smaller form factor, but I would roll with the punch because I love the camera so much and I love the audio so much. And honestly, this has some pretty amazing audio functions and video functions and camera functions and things that you just don't see in other phones. Okay. Honestly, and you can look at a billion YouTube videos that talk about any little niche, niche genre of the phone you want. If you want to learn about the advanced camera functions or the advanced video functions or whatever, you can definitely find videos for that. But just for this low level like review, I just want to say that, you know, uh, are you wanting to buy this? If you love music, yes. If you love photography, and when I say photography, I mean like lining up a photo getting a lighting, you know, the way you want it, that kind of thing. And like kind of make sure the exposure's right and all that good stuff. Being really creative with your photos, 100% yes. If you have an Alpha Series camera, 100% yes. You know, if you want to just snap and shoot, maybe not, you know, honestly. And I will say that I think the Samsung on basic mode is a little better in the dark, okay, than the Sony one. But I've taken some amazing photos of things like, you know, the beach at nighttime with the moon shining on the water, things like that. Like, you, I can get amazing photos with this camera. So it's well worth, okay. Love the back still. And this is the case. It has like it's glass in the back of the real the actual back of the phone. It has this wonderful grippy scratchy feel, which I just I love. And I did this in the original video when I opened it. That was one thing that stood. I was like, what the heck is that? And I to this day I still love it. And of course it's got the Zeiss lenses, which is really good too. Okay. All right, friends. I want to thank you for watching this video. If in doubt, it's now is a great time to pick up the flagship Xperia 1 Mark V phone, okay? And if you're looking forward to, if you want the latest and the greatest, of course, the Xperia 1 Mark VI is coming out later this year, and it looks amazing, okay? I'm not going to comment on rumor speculation, but it looks like there's even going to be some more advanced audio things, which I'm looking forward to, which I'm going to talk more in detail about in a future video, okay? And the camera function is going to be amazing, and about the only change, it's still going to have the card slot for memory, still going to have the headphone jack that people love, audio files love, about the only thing which is kind of in question would be the form factor if it will be bigger or not okay some people say yes you know so we'll see about that and we'll see if that changes my feelings and my my love fest with the xperia one mark five or not okay if you guys have any questions reach out to me text toys at gmail.com again links for these products will be right below and i want to thank you for watching okay we'll talk to you soon bye bye click the link